Hello and welcome to another practical IT video. In this video, we are using RescueZilla to make an image backup of a Proxmox virtual machine. The procedure is very similar to what we saw when we backed up in VirtualBox. We're gonna to come to the virtual CD drive. And in this case, we'll do edit and we'll use an ISO. Select our storage and select the ISO image, RescueZilla. Okay. Under options, you'll wanna make sure that CD-ROM is the first item in the boot order. After we've verified that, we can come to console and power on the virtual machine. And it should start the boot process from RescueZilla. And we're presented with our wizard. In this case, we want to back up the 40 gig QEMU hard drive, both partitions to the network. We're going to enter our IP address and folder. And click next. Browse, create folder, and we're going to call this PVE backup. Save here. Next, next, and we're going to let it do its thing. Since this is a slightly larger hard disk at 40 gigs. It is going to take approximately five and a half minutes by this estimate. So I'm going to pause and I'll be back when this wraps up. All right, we have completed the backup. And we can go ahead and shut down RescueZilla. And that is really all there is to backing up from a Proxmox virtual machine. So the outcome is really the same as what you'd experience with a setup in VirtualBox. And if you were using RescueZilla from within VirtualBox to back up a virtual machine created there. So, I'm going to go ahead and inject my virtual ISO image and go back to console. And we're just going to go ahead and force this off at this point. And that should and did take down our MU Buntu's or Emma Buntu's virtual machine. And that will bring this video to an end. In the next video, we will be restoring this image to a brand new virtual machine inside Proxmox. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to like, subscribe, click the bell icon for notifications, and leave comments down below. Stay safe out there, happy computing, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.